Hi there. Welcome to Banana World. Do you see family programming returning? Do you realize after this reality stage and everything? No, I don't see where you're going with the inquiry. I don't see it. That was John Amos giving his considerations on family programming, returning to lead media outlets. And it turns out his perspective could have been framed by his experience on the arrangement of great times discussing the show was a portion of the dispute about JJ's way of behaving and how goofy he was. And I acknowledged we wanted the satire help, yet all the same, we felt it might have been managed somewhat more. Truly little did. Amos have any idea about that. A basic assessment on that matter would change his life had he been shot the take gathered joblessness after that for a ride. Yet Amos wasn't even the only one battling for an elevating picture of the characters on the show. His on-screen spouse like Wise faced her very own few conflicts with that. Impact. I give a great deal of that to- Esther Rowe said that since she needed a spouse on the show, they needed to do it without a husband. And she said no. I need a husband on the show since I was raised with a dad and mother. In the event that you were around in the mid to latte 90s, there's a colossal opportunity that you saw what many have. Labeled the greatest long stretches of TV in history, it's unexpected in light of the fact that this was the period that network programs and films just began to get into the business following the standard stand-up shows individuals went to see live anyway. Similarly, as with anything in its initial days, TV was not exactly flawless, and there could have been no finer portrayal of this than what occurred in the arrangement of the great times the show, which was one of the trailblazer ushers of a considerable number of the greatest 90s shows, likewise had its own arrangement of difficulties, and it appears that those difficulties could have been a portion of the variables that prompted its sinking. However, until those last days, great times repeated significance in their rawest Structure like a large number of the shows that were administering TV around a similar opportunity it came out. The show was significantly introduced on parody anyway. A little curve was added by the makers of the show to choose to integrate family esteem values into it. So presently, we have a show that is first off loaded up with dark comics with broad, long periods of individual accomplishment to their belts, combined with them being one blissful family. It was practically similar to the show. I couldn't love the show. I would later discover that every one of the fixings that made up the show, albeit more amazing than any of the others circulating at the time, was sufficiently not to keep. While many individuals took a gander at the show and saw some degree of flawlessness in it due to how the cast individuals showed up in their components, the truth of those entertainers was a long way from the portrayal we were seeing as per the records of a large number of the show's fundamental. Cast individuals, some especially not so great. Things had been occurring on the set that prompted it to take the haziest conceivable turn. Now these individuals who needed to survive the difficulty being forced on them by the show's leader are at long last emerging to talk about it, subsequent to keeping silent for nearly 30 years. And how about we simply express the things they're uncovering? This could destroy some of the adolescence or even adulthood recollections you could have had of the show, and to demonstrate exactly the way that serious this is, a few fans have been discussing their thought process happened to the show very much. We should simply express some of them just got the shock of their lives and aren't taking care of it too well. Typically, this is the part where I advise you to remain tuned on the show till the end. However, I have an inclination that it's a given on this one essentially for each millennial watching and individuals my protest was misconfigured. They believed that I was envious of him, and honestly, I was not. I'm not desirous of any effective entertainer. While there have been many first-class shows that travel every which way throughout the long term, the vast majority would concur that there are sure shows that accomplished symbol level right from the pilot and great times could possibly be the head of that classification, an accomplishment that appeared to be unimaginable for a show that was explicitly founded on the existence of a dark family, well, basically, until the show's makers played and slipped. That is, although the stories of the James and Florida Evans family might be somewhat less sight-geisty these days than those of Archie and Edith Shelter, it's critical to know that for an age of individuals of color, particularly, yet not only great times with 
A colossally significant television standard one need look no farther than the Blackish Dream episode that envisions the Johnson family as the cast of great times for evidence of that more individuals have consistently gamble, and they generally will, it's the world's second most seasoned calling. What's the most seasoned you're excessively youthful to know gracious that while it falls in the pantheon of Norman Lear's 70s sitcom universe through the personality of Florida Evans, who was first presented in mode itself as a side project from All in the Family, Great Times is all the more a far-off cousin to those shows dissimilar to its ancestors. Great Times was not made by Norman. Lear. Credit goes to Eric Monty and Michael Evans, who played Lionel Jefferson on All in the Family and the Jefferson's Lear fostered the show to consolidate Florida mods made on mode played by Esther R. Hers, was the main person persisted with her set of experiences and spouse change to fit the structure of Monty and Evans' show Great Times, was a marvelously fruitful CBS sitcom that circulated from February 8, 1974 until August 1, 1979. The show was set in Chicago with the family living in a lodging project that depended on the notorious Cabrini Green Tasks episodes of Great Times managed the person's endeavors to defeat neediness. James Evans was depicted frequently working no less than two positions for the most part, difficult work, for example, dishwasher development work and so on frequently. He was jobless, yet the person is a pleased man who won't acknowledge noble cause when he needs to, he hustles cash playing pool in spite of the fact that Florida dislikes this a history like this, makes you can't help thinking about why the show didn't do a bigger numbers than was recorded. Well, it turns out there's a great deal to unload there while everything appeared to be sweet from a watcher's view, there was a ton of erosion occurring on the set, especially with the show's lead characters, see while John Amos who depicted James Evans the patriarch of the show was essential for why it became as fruitful as it did specific changes were made to it that stunned everybody much to the Shame of the show's allies James Evans was ked during the level of Great Times ubiquity, many asked why the show's makers would pursue such a choice and throughout the long-term tales surfaced that they and Amos couldn't agree in their legal binding talks in May of 2015, in his three-and-a-half-hour interview with the file of American TV Amos shed light on precisely why he left Great Times well that was the thing about uh, working with Norman Lear, he jumped at the chance to get the entertainer input. Yet on the other hand, he was unable to give up control of the show, to the entertainers its reality was the point at which the show initially began, we had not. African-American journalists on the show and a portion of the mentalities they had composed, according to my personality, and honestly for a portion of different characters, too made me say, uh, we can't do this, we can't do that, and they get out whatever do you mean we can't do this, Amos proceed with they'd happen about their credit. What's more, the remainder of that and I'd take a gander at all of them and say well, how long have you been dark that simply doesn't occur locally? We don't believe that way, we don't act that way, we don't, we doubt, wait, we doubt our kids to do that. The business vet conceded he didn't communicate his complaints in the most proficient way, which brought about his personality being kicked off and him getting the boot. The conflicts with the scholars generally impacted Joan's experience on the show. He accepted the contents were not sufficiently credible to depict the dark American experience and felt he preferred such families over the show's white essayists, assuming you think, it doesn't seem like a lot to ask that a man who survived what the existence of a rural dark family is be counseled for, what that life is really similar to contrasted with individuals with degrees and no genuine experience. This was the premise of what caused erosion for Amos on the set by subtleties. From the entertainer himself, the shows in the background group of journalists in their initial years were significantly comprised of white individuals. He uncovered that while these individuals had the specialized expertise to make extraordinary contents, their manifestations had components of pessimistic generalizations about individuals of color. In a talk with Vultures, he said being the main dark dad of a total family on TV implied he carried a monstrous obligation Subsequently, he wouldn't depict something not exactly reclaiming he saw that the scholars were losing center around his other two children on the show Bernadette Stannis, who depicted Delma and Ralph Carter, who played Michael J. N. accepted the show might have gotten an extraordinary arrangement of mealage out of Thelma and Michael's desires to turn into a high court equity specialist. 
I felt that with two other more youthful youngsters, one of whom to seek, who sought to turn into a high court equity that would be, uh, Ralph Carter or Michael, rather the essayists zeroed in on the self. Evident and comedic Jimmy Walker. Which John was not glad for he made sense of, he was not envious of Jimmy Walker, but felt it was a damage to Thelma, Michael, and the youngster's picture to say they didn't make any difference. The distinctions I had with the makers of the show were that an excess of accentuation was being placed on JJ and his chicken head when I inquired as to whether those sentiments prompted his being removed from the show. Jane said, okay it was. I was classified by Norman as a troublesome component when he made the 